In this video we are going to look at how to compute uh, probabilities using a binomial distribution. According to the AVMA, 30.4% of households in the United States own a cat. Uh, if we're looking at whether or not a household contains a cat, that would meet the criteria of a binomial experiment. There are two outcomes, either yes, we have a cat, or no, we do not own a cat. So we can compute various probabilities using uh, the binomial distribution. So we're going to work off a random sample of 100 households and the first thing we're going to compute is the probability that the number of households with a cat is exactly 35. Okay, If we want to compute probabilities uh, uh, that a random variable takes on one particular value the command we use on our calculator is the binomial binomial PDF. It's the binomial probability distribution function. So we're going to go into the distribution menu on your calculator. So the distribution menu can be found above the variables button. So you'll have to press the uh, second button and hit the variables button. And that'll bring up the distribution menu. And you're going to scroll all the way down to binomial PDF and you're going to go ahead and press enter. Uh, for most of you when you press enter you'll get this menu that we just need to fill in these values. If you have an older calculator uh, when you press enter you're just going to go back to the home screen and uh, it'll say binomial PDF. Uh, if that's what your calculator looks like you're just going to enter the three numbers that I enter in that particular order with with commas between them. Okay, but if you see this menu, we're just going to fill it in. So the number of trials here is 100 because we picked 100 households and we asked them whether or not they had a cat. So there were 100 trials. Uh, the probability that someone owns a cat is 30.4%. So for P, we're going to put 0 0.304. And the particular value we're looking for is 35. And if I go ahead and paste that, it's going to put it on the home screen. So if your calculator didn't show that menu, you basically want to type in exactly what you see here on your home screen. And then if I press enter, uh, it'll give me the probability. It looks like it's just over, uh, it's just over 5%. So 0 0.051. So there's slightly more than a 5% chance that exactly 35 of these 100 households will own a cat. Okay, So that's binomial PDF. Uh, the next three examples we're going to look at uh, involve more than just one particular value. So if we want to compute the probability that less than 25 households own a cat, well that would include you know the the probability that 24 households have a cat and the probability that 23 households have a cat and the probability that 22 and so on. So if we wanted to, we could compute all of those probabilities from 0 up to 24 and we could add those together. But that's going to take too much time. So typically if you want to do more than one particular value, you're going to use the binomial cumulative, whoops, binomial CDF command on your calculator. That's the binomial cumulative distribution function. Okay. And in this example, we want to compute the probability that the number of households is less than 25. Okay. When you use the binomial CDF function on your calculator, you want to convert whatever probability you're trying to find into a less than or equal to statement. So instead of computing the probability that the number of households is less than 25, we need an equivalent inclusive less than relationship. So if we just want the probabilities of households less than 25, that would basically be 24 on down. So instead of uh, x less than 25, we're going to convert that to uh, x less than or equal to 24 because we want the probability that 24 households own a cat and all the way down to zero. We do not want to include 25. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the distribution menu 
and you're going to go down to binomial CDF. And you'll see a similar menu. Uh, we still have 100 trials. The probability of owning a cat is still 30.4%, so I'll put 0 .304. And then for x value, we're going to put 24. So once you've converted it to a less than or equal to statement, uh, whatever that boundary value is, that's what you're going to put as your x value. And what this is going to compute, it's going to accumulate all the probabilities from 0 up through 24, and it's going to add those together for us. That way we don't have to type them all in and add them manually. And again, if you didn't have that menu, you just want to type exactly what you see here on your home screen. So then when I press enter, it gives me, looks like 0 .0, approximately 0 0.098. 0.098. So it looks like there's almost a 10% chance that fewer than 25 households are going to own a cat. Okay. So let's look at this next one. We want the probability that the number of households that have a cat is more than 22. Okay. So we want the probability that X is more than 22. If we're going to use binomial CDF, Again, the key is it's got to, we've got to convert this to a less than or equal to statement. Okay, so what's an equivalent way to express the probability that x is greater than 22? If you've got a greater than statement, we want to use the complement. So remember, if we if we add a certain uh, set of values of a discrete variable to its complement, we always get one. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that this is equal to one minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 22. Okay, because we have two options, either x is more than 22 or x is less than or equal to 22. So if I add those two probabilities together, I should get 100%. So I can express the probability that x is more than 22 as 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 22. So this is what I want to do on my calculator. First, I'm going to type 1 minus. Oops, typed it in the wrong spot. First, I'm going to type 1 minus, and then I'm going to go into my distributions menu. I'm going to go to binomial CDF. Okay, my other numbers are still here. I'm just going to change this x value to 22. We're still doing 100 trials. We still have the same probability of owning a cat. So this will give me the probability that less than or equal to 22 households own a cat, and I'm going to subtract that value from 1. And the probability that more than 22 households own a cat is about 96%. So 0 0.098. 0 0.098. 0 0.098. 0 0.098. 0 0.098. So there's about a 96% chance that more than 22 households will own a cat. Okay, so let's just do one more. Now we want the probability that between 25 and 35 inclusive own a cat. So that means I'm including 25 and 35 and everything in between. So we're looking at 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, all the way up through 35. And we want to accumulate those probabilities. Again, the only thing our calculator will do is a, a less than or equal to statement. So we need to convert this. So how can I find the probability that between 25 and 35 own a cat? So if we look at all the spectrum of, of possibilities, we know somewhere between 0 and 100 households are going to own a cat in our sample. And we want to compute the probability that it's between 25 and 35. So we want to find the probability that the number of households that own a cat is in here. So how could we, how could we do this? Well, one way we can do this is we can compute the probability that the number of households that own a cat is less than or equal to 35. That would give me this whole region from here to here. Okay. And then I want to subtract off the region from here to here. So if I take this whole region and I subtract off this region, it'll give me the region of values I'm looking for. So I'm going to take the probability that x is less than or equal to 35, and I'm going to subtract off the probability that x is less than 25. 
I don't want to include the 25 because I want that to be included in the part that's left. So I don't want to subtract that part out. Okay, so this first probability will give me uh, the probability that I'm to the left of 35, and then I'm going to subtract off the probability that I'm to the left of 25. Now again, before I use binomial CDF, I need to convert this one to a less than or equal to statement. So what I'm going to end up doing is the probability that we're less than or equal to 35 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 24. In a discrete uh, distribution where my x values have to be whole numbers, uh, the probability that we're less than 25 is going to be equivalent to the probability that we're less than or equal to 24. So if I compute these probabilities and find the difference, that should be my answer. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the distributions menu. I'm going to go to binomial CDF. And first I'm going to do 35. And I'm going to go ahead and press enter and enter again. So that's my first one. And then I'm going to go ahead and subtract. So I'm going to hit the minus sign. And then I'm going to go back into the distributions menu and put in the other binomial CDF calculation. And I'm going to go down and change this to 24. And I'm going to press enter. Now both of my probabilities are there. And you see I'm going to subtract them. So if I press enter, this will give me what's left, and it looks like about 0 0.768. So 0 0.768. So in a random sample of 100 households, there's about a 77% chance that the number of them that own a cat is between 25 and 35, including both of those values. Hope you found this helpful.